with this one. Hey, welcome Catching Dinner. I'm Stefan. I'm Aaron. And Allison's behind the camera. Today we're going fishing. Obviously we're in Colorado. Beautiful day here in the mounds. Most probably peak colors. Couldn't ask for a better day. Temperature is perfect. And today we're excited because we're targeting a fish we've never targeted before. It's called a mountain whitefish. We'll be able to find the deeper pools and that's where the mountain whitefish will be hanging out. We should be able to see them, cast at them, and hopefully catch a few to bring home to put on our smokers and this guy's a master smoker <laughs> if you've followed us before this guy means business and we know we're gonna be eating good if we can catch him that's the plan that's the plan Trout. Yeah. this is right out of the fairy tale my friends yeah so we're gonna keep going, but we'll find them. So these whitefish are really salmonids. They're in the trout family. A lot of people don't realize that because they kind of look like suckers, the way they're shaped. So, uh, but they're not, and I promise you, they're gonna be good eating because I've heard great things about them. They're one of the most underappreciated fish around here. They're really native to Colorado. They're one of the two game fish that are actually native. You have the cutthroat, the greenback, obviously, and these guys. So. Uh, doesn't get more Colorado than this. Chasing them in the Aspens. Look at this. This is the ultimate Colorado experience. Big pull over here. Big pull? Right up around the bend. Holy moly. Go get him. Come on! It's raining leaves. It's magical. Aaron got the first whitefish of the day. An absolute beauty. Right here along the edge of this wall is a little deeper pool. That's why we stopped here. And look at that. Look at that beautiful fish. It was a good fighter. Gave yeah, you a pretty good. Uh, uh, I couldn't see where they were at. I was trying to hit that slot right on the canyon wall and I saw my indicator drop and set and took off. And That's all she wrote. Beautiful little fish. Oh yeah, it is. Whoop. Shit. <laughs> You're right, Allison. <laughs> that should be your name in the 
if you had a name in the American Indian? Yeah. Slippery fingers. That's a nice one. Yeah, it's a nice little staff. Good job, Aaron. Right, there you go. Booyah! First Woo yeah. Aaron's getting it done. Look at the color on it when it, it's in the sun. It's got some, some pink and white on the scales. Beautiful, and I can't wait to try it smoked. Uh, it's, it's a female, clearly. <laughs> So we just stopped here, a second spot. Aaron caught a fish already, beautiful white fish. So congrats. Yeah, thanks, it was awesome. On my very first cast of the day. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Uh, I saw my, my indicator drop and I set the hook and she took off and it was a fun little fight and uh, we got something for the smoker. And yeah. Got a lot more to find. Yeah, great start, but we're really here exploring. We've never been here. Second deep hole we stopped, and that wasn't really that deep. And six feet. But guess what? There was one, and it's all matters. You got it. You broke your uh, white fish uh, cherry yeah. there. So time to time to get you on to him. Yeah, my turn. So we'll keep going, keep looking for those deeper holes, and uh, we'll find them. Let's do it. Aaron just yelled fish on, so I'm trying to get closer to get a better shot. Oh, another white fish. Yeah, baby. He's pulling him out right now. Nice catch. Aaron's American Indian name is Slippery Fingers. <laughs> yeah, I can't hold on to a fish to save my life. But there it is. Another white fish. Beaut. Awesome, Aaron. So we just left the spot where Aaron caught his second fish. He didn't want to leave because he had fish in front of him. And he caught one of them twice, and twice it got off. But we decided to move along just a little further. We found this bridge here. We're gonna check it out. We can always go back to the other spot if this spot doesn't pan out. Aaron's got a fish on. He didn't throw in, but maybe three times, three, four times. And white fish is coming out. Aaron's on fire. That's his third fish. They are going to be phenomenal on his smoker. Hooked him good right in the corner of the mouth. Perfect. I lost my other fly. Oh man. That's okay. Oh wait. No. Oh yeah, my other just getting my other fly. Oh good. It's right here. Alright, buddy. It's a decent little guy. Beautiful little white fish. Yep, yeah, it's time to dispatch him. You got it? Yeah. Fish on. We just left the bridge. We pulled up to a new spot. Aaron said he saw five white fish right in front of him. And sure enough, one of the first few casts, Aaron is hooked up on his fourth Ooh. white fish of the day. It's spicy. 
Look at this. Slippery Fingers got himself his fourth white fish of the day. Hey. Goodbye, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you. You're going to be delicious. I'm sorry. I hate killing things. I know. There we go. Look at that beauty. Yeah, baby. It's going to be delicious. First white fish, baby. This one. That's the fish I work for. Have to down to me. Oh yeah, he's coming. Baby, baby. Nice. Woohoo! Yeah, finally. That was a few hours coming. <laughs> I didn't quit, but I was, fun, I was pretty frustrated. Yes. I got it. You got him. Yep. Don't drop him. Don't. Right, right. Don't let. Don't do what I do. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're... Oh wow, that's a cool looking fish. Nice. The bone fish of the Rockies. Awesome. Look at that. Couldn't be happier. Not a monster by any means, but you know what? He's gonna eat good. He's gonna smoke good. You worked hard for him. Yeah, I did. Look at their mouth. Look how cool they are. I just can't believe it because I was fishing. I even took Aaron's rod, fished in the same spot. Nothing. He took the rod. Cast in the same spot, and two, he just lost two in a row, like same spot. <laughs> I thought I was doing the same thing. Clearly, he's better than me, but or I just, he's, I don't know, either. But my curse is broken right now, yeah. so, and it's all matters. So, uh, booyah! <laughs> Ow, ah! I'm happy. Elton's fishing, she's loving it. Aaron's giving her a few tips how to cast properly. She's getting better. She even had a whitefish on earlier. So now she really wants to catch one. She was so close. We almost netted it, but it came undone. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might have got it on film too. No, it jumped right Yeah, she she had it, but it jumped and spit. What did they? The, hopefully the video captured a fraction of what the day was because really it was just one of the best day on the river awesome. you could ask for and Allison got a little lesson fly fishing lesson from Aaron thank she, you Aaron yeah Absolutely. thank you and you know how it is you know I've tried many a times that something about husband and wife teaching things <laughs> so thank you buddy appreciate it <laughs> of course and Allison <laughs> cut the bug and she even caught a trout or a trout a whitefish she had it on came off so close to landing it but guess what she's hooked now so we'll see you tomorrow. I, I still felt the, what did you say, the Aaron? The tug is the, the drug. The tug was the drug, and <laughs> no, I'm hooked on that drug. <laughs> so it's Sunday morning. We just got back to our spot. Stefan threw it in, and first cast. First cast, you got a fish. Fish on. We got a white fish. Okay. You can tell if it was a trout, it's still a little dark. Yep. Nice little guy. Not a monster like yesterday. Yesterday we were catching some giants, really. Look at this. Beautiful little white fish. Nice little guy. First one of the day. Pretty awesome. Let's keep fishing. Aaron's got a fish on. One. Second fish of the morning on that's Aaron's a, pole. That's a fat fish. Good yes, job. It is. Nice. Good job. When you break his neck, it'll be easier to not worry about losing him. Nice you know, job, man. Aaron. <laughs> Slippery paws. <laughs> this one ain't slipping. All right, Allison, it's your turn. Yeah, that's true. Stefan got we one, got Aaron got one. One, two. Three. I'm putting the camera down, picking up my pole. I want to get one. Yeah. 
pile of fish in front of Allison. She's drifting the, uh, the fly right in front of them. It's just a matter of time. Allison's got one. He's huge. He's huge. Huge. Allison's got a big one. So Aaron's going to net it. Oh, Aaron, Aaron. Oh, oh. Allison, give it slack. Give it slack. Yep. Nah, it's a big white fish. I saw it. Aaron's gonna go. Stay here, Allison. That's a big one, Allison. Yeah, give a little line. Don't give it too much slack. He's a big one. Woo! Nice. You might just step back there. Allison just, whoa. Allison got a giant whitefish. I mean, I've been working hard. My goodness, Allison. Nice job. I've been trying yeah. all morning. It's yeah. 10 o'clock. Yeah. And I finally caught my first whitefish. I caught a few, but I didn't land them. This one. I Look landed. at this it's mama. A, this is a pretty big one. It's a big mama right there. Yeah. Holy. Yeah. This holy is a fish. beautiful fish, Allison. We've had an incredible morning this morning. We've got a big old pile of fish. Uh, we found a honey hole. Yeah. And it was just one after the other after the other. I landed three fish and five casts. Stefan was crushing it. We got Allison onto her first white fish. We're gonna go try another adventure. Uh, if we're successful there, we'll see you there. If not, we'll see you by the smoker. Yeah, he kind of disappeared after it. No, I, I got him right here by me. Uh -huh. We had an amazing time on the river. These fish were a blast to catch, and we brought them home. I gutted them, so I'm gonna use four white fish for this recipe. So basically, what we're doing here is first we're gonna brine them, then smoke them, and then turn them into an amazing white fish salad. So let's get started. So we could literally put this white fish like this in the brine hole or chunk it you know in three pieces or two pieces to make it a little faster just brine it like that and then put it on the smoker but we don't have a lot of time today to smoke it so it's going to go faster it's going to be a lot faster if i can just fillet it that's what i did i just made a fillet just followed the back backbone here and then i'm left with the rib cage so to remove that all you have to do is just slide your blade right underneath the rib cage and I can feel some of the little pin bones too, but those I'm going to leave so I don't lose too much of the meat. So right along here, just like a trout, it's got the little pin bones, but it'll be so much easier instead of trying to carve it out and lose some of the meat to just peel the meat off of it once the fish is smoked. So same deal here, moving the rib cage, okay. just going to follow it slowly, don't peel it peel off, get the fin here, that's that. That'll be the, what we're gonna use for a brine. Nice fillet like that. We're gonna keep the scales on, it's gonna keep the moisture in. And then that's that. Can't wait to put it on the smoker, but first we're gonna have to put it in the brine. Let me just finish the fillets and I'll see you in a bit. Now it's time to make our brine. We're gonna use some brown sugar, it's good old brown sugar. 
kosher salt, a cup of each. It's already measured a cup of salt. So I'm just going to dump it. We have a gallon of water right here. A cup of brown sugar goes in. Now I'm just going to make sure it's all well dissolved. Just going to mix all this. I'm just going to put our eight fillets here. Just kind of let them sit for about six to eight hours. People that do the whole fish or big chunks of fish, you want to let it sit longer, you know, up to 12, 16 hours. But here, six to eight should be plenty for a purpose. So here we are. So the fillets are ready to go in the smoker. What I did is uh, take them out of the brine. I rinsed them, patted them dry, put them in the fridge for 45 minutes. That's where they just came from. The whole idea is to dry them out a little bit so they will absorb the smoke better. So we'll get a smoker ready. So the pellets, applewood, super easy with a pellet smoker. Doesn't get easier than this. Okay. So here we are. It's been two hours. We decided to go with a little bit lower heat and more smoke. 130, 140 for a couple hours. So let's see what we got. And uh, that looks pretty, pretty much the way out to. You can really tell the smoke really setting into the fish. So we're gonna crank it up and just finish it for about a half hour at around 200, 225. It should be just perfect. So let's crank this up. 200 and uh, we're almost there. Really close. Whew, it's gonna be awesome. Let's take a look, it's been about a half hour. Oh yeah, look at that. They're ready now. So, uh, moment of truth. Look at this. this nice little glaze. I think they're perfect. That looks amazing. Most of them are pretty thin, so... It didn't take too long, really. Once we cranked up the heat, after letting them uh, infuse the smoke, for about a couple hours. That's perfect. Wow. That's that. Shut her down. Look at these. That's some beautiful fish right here. Mountain white fish. The time has come to turn these beautiful smoked fillets into our white fish salad. White fish salad is something that I grew up with. It's in every New Jersey delicatessen. And we had whitefish salad almost every Sunday on bagels when I was growing up, but I never got to make my own. So this is gonna be a treat. I can't wait. We found a great recipe. We started with eight. We only have six now because of course we had to taste it and it was phenomenal, but it's gonna be even better in our whitefish salad recipe. So let's show you the ingredients so you can recreate it at home if you want. The recipe that we're doing calls for two pounds of whitefish. We're not really sure exactly how many pounds we have. So it also calls for a third of a cup of mayonnaise, a third of a cup of sour cream, one to two tablespoons of dill, one to two fresh squeezed lemon, and one to two tablespoons of scallions or chives. So, we don't know exactly how much of this we're going to need since we don't know exactly how many pounds we have. We're going to start by shredding these beautiful fillets in a bowl. And once we kind of get an idea of how much shredded white fish we have, then we'll know what ratio we want to put of the other ingredients. Hey, let's get started. Let's turn these fillets into some wonderful white fish salad. It actually ended up being more white fish than we thought now that it's all shredded. So I think we're going to need pretty much close to what we have here. But I'm going to err on the safe side and not put everything at first, just to kind of get an idea of how we're doing here. So I'll do half of the mayonnaise, half of the sour cream. Mix that 
that up. See what we got. And it's really to taste because some people like their salads more soupy with mayonnaise and sour cream. Some people like it a little drier. I like it a little drier. I don't really like it very soupy. So if you like it soupy, put some more. Let's add the dill. Now again, I love dill, so I'm putting all the dill. If you're not a fan of dill, you can leave it out. You can put less. It's up to you. You're the master of your own breakfast salad. Lemon juice. That's the perfect amount. And these are the scallions, green onions. Looking better by the second. Sure is. Can hardly wait. As Allison said, we used to get white fish salad all the time at the deli, and we haven't had it in a long time. And to be able to go catch our own fish, smoke them, and turn them into such an amazing breakfast, it's pretty exciting. Mm, my mouth is watering. Oh yeah. Bagels are toasting. I just have to try this. It's tempting me so much. Can always add a little salt and pepper to taste too. So, winner? It definitely does not need salt because of the brine. Right, that makes sense. It's definitely salty enough. Maybe a little pepper. Alright, we'll add a little mm -hmm. pepper. And for the first bite, this, my friends, is pure heaven. See what we got? I'm really hungry. We've been, you know, working, preparing it, smelling it, and uh, I couldn't be uh, more excited to try this. So, let's see what we got. Mm. Brings back memories. But this fresh, and we have a lot of skin in the game. We went in Carter's house. Always oh, tastes a little sweeter. This is definitely breakfast of champions right here. And like Allison said, you can always tweak it to the way you like it. And uh, this is excellent. So happy we were able to get out there, catch our own white fish, make an adventure out of it. They're plentiful, you just gotta find them. Where we were, the water was so clear, it wasn't too hard, we just kept going until we found a big pool with them. And uh, it was a blast. Allison even caught a giant one and uh, got a Masters Angler Award for it, which is uh, pretty awesome. So, hope you can get out there, catch some white fish, make yourself some nice breakfast. I promise you, you won't be disappointed. Hope to catch you next time on our next adventure of catching dinner. Until then, we're out. Ah! And, uh, Enjoying this beautiful breakfast. Mm. Like Allison said.